show that the set x minus 3x such that x is in R is a subspace of R2. Okay, so first I need to know what a subspace is. So let me look up the definition of subspace. Here it is. The set V is a subspace when 1 the zero vector is in V 2 if u and v are in v, then u plus v is in v, and that's called being closed under vector addition. If u is in v and c is in r, then c u is in V, and that's called being closed under scalar multiplication. Okay, so if I'm to show that um, V is a subspace, I would need to show all those three things. And so far the set isn't called V, so let me actually say that it's called V. Let V be equal to X minus 3X such that X is in R. Well, I'd have to do all three rules, so let's number them. Number one, is the zero vector in that set? Well, I tell if a vector is in my set is if I can write it as x minus 3x for some x in R. And if x is zero, then that would produce the zero vector. So, zero, zero is equal to zero minus three times zero. So, zero, zero is in V. So that covers number one. So number two. Number two is if u and v are in v, then u plus v is in v. Okay, so I should start with a u and v in my set. Let u and v be in v. Now what I want to get to is do some working and somehow be able to say, therefore, u plus v is also in v. Okay. Well, how do I tell if u and v are in v? I tell if they're in v if I can write them as x minus 3x for some x in R. So why don't I actually do that? So u is equal to x minus 3x and v is equal to y minus 3y for some x and y in R because that's what it means to be in V. And I need to know what U plus V is, so I might as well work it out. U plus V is equal to X plus Y minus 3X minus 3Y. And I can pull that minus 3 out of the second side. So that would be X plus Y minus 3 times X plus Y. And so I've got something in the X coordinate and then minus 3 times the thing in the x coordinate. And so therefore u plus v is in v because that's the rule to tell if it's in v. Excellent. So that would mean now that I just need to do part 3. Well, part 3 says if u is in v and c is in r, then cu is in v. So I should start with something like that. 3. Let u be in v and c be in r. Now what we want to get to at the end of our working is something like therefore cu is in v. Well, I suppose I could do the same as what I did last time for the pluses. I should say what u is in terms of how it should look to, if it's in v. So u is equal to x minus 3x for some x in r. And I suppose CU would be equal to CX, C times minus 3X. That would be CX minus 3 times CX. And that does it because I've got something in the X coordinate and minus 3 times that same thing in the Y coordinate. And that's what vectors in V look like. So it's in V. I might move this up a bit. Therefore, CU 
is in V. Therefore, V is a subspace of R2 because the vectors have two coordinates. And that's the end of the problem.